Oh, yeah, there he is, the Mexican monster who always fights like he has something to prove. So David Benavidez, November 25th, Showtime pay-per-view against Demetrius Andrade. What the hell are you trying to prove? I'm trying to prove to the world that I am the best super middleweight on this planet, and I'm going to definitely show that because I've had a tremendous training camp. I've been working for three months already. Um, we've been getting some great rounds of sparring, and, and you know, this is going to be the last Showtime event, so we gotta we got to let it go with the bang. And, um, you know, these are the type of fights that interest me too because Demetrius Andre, he's – He's a great fighter, no doubt about that. He's a lot of experience. But I get to test myself. I get to test my spirit. I get to test my heart in front of everybody. And I know when people make me reach deep down that the great, uh, the best of myself comes out. So we're looking forward to this. If he's going to give me a war, then I'm, uh, then I'm looking for it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm a warrior, and I can't wait to go in there. Well, y- your conquest of Caleb Plant earlier this year on pay-per-view – was a, a real mature statement for anyone that had any doubt. But I want to talk about the transaction that happened with the crowd. Uh, always a big Mexican fan base to show up in Las Vegas, but it felt like they were there to say, hey, this might be a Canelo town, but we've identified this fellow right here as as our man now. Did you feel a, a that same change or or had it been building all along up to that point? No, yeah, I think it had been building uh, along, but the fans just needed a big fight like that to come out and support. It was such a big fight, you know. I, I definitely felt the uh, the ambience or, and or or the the feeling in the crowd, you know. So it was a great fight, man, and it was just made me so happy, man. Just uh, when you when I was a kid, I would dream about moments like that, and then I have finally had my moment. It was a great fight. The fight lived up to the hype. And now I get to do it again, November twenty fifth. So, man, we're looking forward to this, and like I said, we're working extremely hard. Uh, what was great about the Caleb Plant fight was the buildup and the acrimony and the sort of edgy fun that we love as fans. So looking back, do you respect Caleb Plant after everything you guys went through? No, oh, yeah, I've said it a lot of times. Caleb Plant has, has really gained my respect. I feel like as men, if you go to war to somebody, that's where it, that's where it ends. You know, we ain't we didn't got to push him more than that. We both hit each other with some good shots, you know, we gave the fans a good fight. So he's definitely won my respect and he's a great man. All right. Uh, I love this Andrade fight a ton. You can argue that it's your toughest fight of your career. I think it's a mature statement to be like, I'm not running from this guy who's dangerous. I want to run through him. So I'm down for that. But if you ask boxing fans, you know what they're going to say. What fight do you want to see? I want to see Benavidez versus Canelo. Is Canelo... Waiting you out, avoiding you. How would you describe the fact that you haven't fought him yet? To be honest with you, I don't know what that man is doing. You know, I feel like everything. Every time I say something, people try to say that oh, I'm looking for a payday. I'm looking doing for this and that. But I've been the the mandatory fighter for the past two years. You know, I won a, a title eliminator first, and I won WBC interim, and that guarantees you a spot. So the the fact that this fight hasn't happened is really crazy to me. But like I said, you know, this this man, this man is just making it worse for himself because I'm gaining so much more experience. You know, this is my second pay-per-view fight. You know, the 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 crowds are really big for this fight. So I'm getting very comfortable. And like I said, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm the best in this division. I'm definitely gonna show the world why. Uh, and especially once I get in the ring with Canelo, those all those belts are going home with me. Well, we added another big name to the division in Jermel Charlo, who came up empty against Canelo. Uh, What is your opinion of Charlo's performance, which has been maligned? I mean, people seem to be pouring truckloads of of hate against him. Where do you stand on his performance? I think I was a little bit disappointed because it looked like he was just trying to survive. I respect Charlo a lot. I think he's a really good fighter. He's a unified champion for a reason. I just felt like he was, you know, he didn't want to, he don't want to risk too much. And if you're a unified champion, you should fight with your heart. You know, you shouldn't fight just trying to survive to the last round. Maybe it was his preparation that he didn't prepare, right? You know, you go up to weight classes, you have to do some type of weight training, especially you want to have the power up there. But, you know, I think he just, I don't know. I think his training camp, his, his camp wasn't right. And um, with Canelo too, he's just, he's, he was all over, uh, he was all over Charlo. So it was like, I mean, it wasn't the most entertaining fight, but it was a good performance by Canelo. And I'm a little disappointed with Charlo, but hey, that that that's the way it, it happened. 
Well, the way it will happen on your pay-per-view headliner November 25th is in the co-main event, we'll get Jermall Charlo back after a long hiatus, but back against your brother, Jose Benavidez uh, Jr., who's always down to get down with anyone. Man, this is a really interesting fight. Um, How do you see this? You see this from the standpoint of being your brother, so I get that, but... This is a tough matchup for your brother, but we also have so many questions about Charlo. What are you expecting to learn from this fight? I feel like this is the best, um, a big opportunity for my brother. I think he has to take advantage of this. You know, he's been working extremely hard. I've even been sparring him myself. So I'm very confident that he's going to go in there and knock Charlo out. You know, a lot of people have been calling me crazy, but I think it's going to be one of the biggest upsets in the past couple years. I think he's going to go in there and lay Charlo out, but it's going to be a tough fight. You know, Charlo, I think he's just, you know, he probably should have took another tuna fight, you know, um, because he's been out for so long. And but, you know, whatever, you know, uh, my brother, he's going to cash in on this opportunity. And, you know, it's going to be a great fight. I even I joke with my brother. I'm like, damn, well, we should just trade fighters. Let me fight Charlo and you fight Demetrius because <laughs> I wanted to get that fight, too. But uh, it's going to be a great card, man. I'm, I'm very excited for November 25th. Yeah, definitely. And and a real interesting fight with Andrade, who I, like I. He never really got to have his moment. He was chasing Canelo for a while. I know he's getting a little bit older, but it's not like he's been getting beat up. He's this great, de slick, defensive fighter. So this is his time to go for it, and it just so happens that it's going to be against you. Uh, is How difficult do you expect that he will be to figure out? Because I have to believe you respect the craft that he brings to this matchup. So the way I go into every fight, I think that every opponent I fight is going to be the best that he is going to be. So the way, what I mean about that is I got to be thinking a lot. I got to, you know, be ready for everything that Demetrius does. You know, he's a slick boxer, so I'm expecting him to be at his best. But this is what I've done for a long time. I love figuring these fighters out. You know, I, I've heard everybody I've been in the ring with. I've literally heard everybody I've been in the ring with. So we just got to find, we got to execute the game plan and do what my dad told me to do. And, you know, we're definitely going to break them down. There's no question about that. You know, I am the stronger fighter. I'm the faster fighter and I'm the hungrier fighter, you know, but at the end of the day, this is like a cross. This is another crossroads fight for both of us. You know, may the best man win and may the best man go for after all the belts after. Uh, the next thing I'm about to say, uh, you could take it as a compliment or an insult. It's definitely a compliment. You fight like a motherfucker, David Benavidez. You, you, <laughs> you, it starts slowly and it just keeps building and then you get greedy and then you wear guys the hell out. Uh, what do you think that does mentally when they know that it's almost like Michael Myers chasing them slowly? Like you're going to corner them. You're going to do what you do and it's only going to get worse from here. To be honest with you, I don't know what they think because I'm always on the side of attack. You know, I, I'm the one dishing the punishment out. And it's always been like that. Even my sparring partner or even my sparrings are like this. You know, I do the same thing to everybody. Um, but if he wants to give me a fight, I, 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 I enjoy that. I enjoy a good fight because when somebody really puts me to the test, the best out of me comes out. You seen, you guys seen that with Caleb Plant. So, I mean, um, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do, but I do know exactly what I'm going to do. So, like I said, I'm ready for the best Demetrius Andre out there and let's get it going. Um, I wanted to bring up one name because it sounded for a while like we thought you were fighting David Morrell. Do you want to fight that guy? If you have to, will you? Like, what is your opinion of him? Yeah, I definitely do want to fight him. That's the guy I have my sights on. But what I'm doing right now is I want to get the people out of there that's been there for a while. You know, David Morrell, he's a great fighter, but he only has 10 fights. Um, I was going after Caleb Plant. I got him. Demetrius Andre, I've had my eye on him for a while, so I'm going to get him. And after I get him, if I don't get the Canelo fight, then we're going after David Moreau. All right, let me close with this. It's uh, November 25th, Showtime pay-per-view. It's a big one. You, Demetrius Andre, great undercard that's going to be behind it. Um, th this is this is big. And if you keep winning this one, you know, the Canelo one's going to line up. It's going to happen. Uh, do you have to prepare already for... You know, the stardom's going to be, it's already kicking your door in. Like, sometimes they say dealing with success is harder than dealing with, you know, defeat or or pro, or, or or issues. Um, This is part of the game, too. Are you ready for what the next couple of years of this uh, of this thing could bring to your life? Because, you know, you win this one. Like I said, it's 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 all in all in time. 
Yeah, definitely. I've been preparing for this since I was three years old, 23 years in. Um, I started boxing at three. I've been professional for 10 years, so I'm more than ready. You know, I feel like um, I'm really, I'm just preparing, Not and I'm not only just preparing for Canelo. I want to be the most dominant fighter in my generation. So I'm training to be the best, and um, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to manifest my dreams, and um, we're going to be the best. It don't matter who's going to be in front of me. I'm, I'm always going to end up victorious. Love to hear the intensity there. David Benavides, thank you for your time. Can't wait to see you back November 25th. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Brian.